Yeah, I've heard you guys during this uh, the past couple of weeks stress. Uh, there was there was a press release last week about Kyle stressing character. Jason, I've heard you reference character uh, to this roster as well. Has that been an issue? And it, does this club have more character? Do you think? I think <clears throat> I think it's important to understand what what we're speaking of when we speak of character. Um, and it's not more character; it's better character, because uh, I do think that this group has always had personalities, big personalities. Um, from my point of view, what we saw last year the, with the things that were happening off the field was alarming, um, and we weren't happy about it. Um, and we tried to address that the best way we knew how, um, which was discipline during the season, but also in the decisions that were made in the off season. Um, there are people that aren't back that, that, that suffered because of that. Um, and we felt a, a strong desire to have better professionals here. Um, that were more serious about what they're doing um, and are like-minded with us. We want guys that want to compete. We want guys that want to win. We want guys that feel the pain when we don't win um, because we feel that. Uh, and we've gone out with that particular objective, and I think we've done a great job of adding every single player that's come here has, has sat down with me and looked me in the eye and told me that they want to win and they want to be here for the right reasons. Nigel? Look, um, oh. yeah. Look, I'll, I will start asking you guys to understand and, and respect the fact that it's going to be the last time I'm going to speak about uh, this player, right? I've been in this business for so long, more than 17 years. So I can testify that we didn't overreact of what happened. Um, this not, you don't see that happen very often, this kind of situation, for the simple reason for a situation like that happen, you need to have in, in one, one side a player that doesn't respect the club, doesn't respect contracts, don't care about the group. And, and this is exactly what we saw from, from Kyle. So a player has just decided to get out of the city and, and to present himself and, and just uh, you know, observe or, 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 or follow the, the contract and everything he signed before. So when that happened, uh, we start. We engage, of course, the club. We explain and show that the player had contract with us, and then they come back and 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 start to negotiate. Right at this moment, we have a conversation and see well, what's the point to force a player like that with that character, with that personality, a troublemaker. Why, what's the point to bring a player like that back to the club? So we decided to you know better if we uh, do it and do it fast in order to put our efforts and, and the focus on the players that we have on the roster that we have to build looking forward to the, the, the season. So we decided to in, engage in negotiations with uh, the, the Turkish club and then in, ended up in a very good, uh, in my opinion, a very good uh, negotiation and, and, and result for us as a club. So that exactly what happened. There was no other reaction for our side. This is not something that happens every day and the reasons because Players are becoming and becoming much more professionals, and that's not what happened with that gentleman when he left this club. 